I became a teacher because it seemed like the right thing to do. I'm very happy when I share my expertise, when I share my knowledge. The first time I went into a classroom, I felt like I was home. And then I got bit, the magic hit. My story started with not with changing the world. It was really about wondering whether I can make a difference in my child's life. That was it, it was a small story of a mother. I am who I am because of education. It's a very exciting place to be to teach high school students. It's just fantastic and there's no other job like it. Every day is an opportunity to do something great, to change lives, to transform a community. If I have the energy to make things better, then I'm determined to walk that extra mile. I am the first teacher who helped uh, create the first Braille school in Cambodia. Within three to six months, you can get almost anybody to be able to learn this language, one hour a day. And today, we have 180 schools in five countries. Now we are going to visit a women group, one of the women groups that I support. We returned back from exile after the Taliban and established a school here in Kabul in Afghanistan. And uh, nowadays we have uh, more than 3,000 uh, students in our school. I decided that I would create a place where I could teach children and teachers at the same time. 25 years worth of 40 to 50 teachers a year. And when children learn to nurture, we as a society collectively embrace our better nature. I have a strong commitment that one day that all the visually impaired children in Cambodia will have access to education. It's not easy to introduce the change in the educational system, but I still believe it's the best way to change the country. Every human being has potential, but this potential cannot be developed if you don't have belief. I think Riverside attempts every day to build citizen leaders, children who will graduate with passion and compassion, who believe that the opportunities are not just right for them, but they will do right by the opportunity. We need girls that they know they have education. It is a way that we defeat the war, yeah? I don't think if I am brave because I'm doing very ordinary job. So that is the reason that I say that this is not a bravery, this is just a normal act that any person has to do. In all the years that I was traveling on weekends to give speeches, I, I told whoever was introducing me, you know, really, we don't need to talk about the number of books and the awards, and just tell these people I taught yesterday. That's really what they need to hear that I was in the classroom yesterday like they were. I am Madanjit Singh. I am Guy Etienne. I'm Nancy Atwell. Jacqueline Jumbe Kahura. Naomi Volane. My name is Nian Kala. Hi, I'm Steve Ritz, a teacher at Public School 55. I was born here in Kabul. We are standing at the heart of Ahmedabad. I'm from the northeast of England. 